Well, the police wouldn't let me go to through 100, 122nd, so I had to go around 119th and go. Um, and I was, they let me look at the, the lawyer's building. I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. Um, I know that's not going on TV, but it's true. It's true. I'm not here to lie to you. Um, I was trying to get a hold of him because I couldn't identify the business. That window got blown out, and I was trying to help the police figure out who to contact to secure that poor business. Did you see the damage to the building then? All the bricks? Yes, yes, yes. He must have been gravely hurt. He must have been badly hurt, injured. How fast do you think someone must have gone with that? I haven't been allowed to drive for three years, so I am not a good judge of that. want to see my tits? <laughs> Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right. You're great zombie. And good times here at the Waterfront Village. How bad they are. Why don't they just walk the gutters? It ain't a far walk. It's just 38 miles. Why don't you walk? Why don't you walk the gun? Can you walk the gun the I'll walk, yeah, I can walk the gun. Why don't you walk the gun? I don't need to walk the gun. Well, shit, no, you don't. Know. You're going to put everybody else walking the gun. Why don't you just walk the gun? Why don't you walk the gun? All right, let's go. All right, hang on. Let me do this one time. Let's put that ass. You be so goddamn fucking tired. The time you get some new hope, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be so goddamn fucking tired by the time you get the new hope that you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be. Mm, mm. What's made you? What's got you so mad today? Me? Yeah. Because everybody wants to run. Everybody wants to run. That's good. Run from here to Gunners. I'll walk. I'll be right behind them and see how far they can run. It's a chauvinistic pig attitude that you're gonna do something because you work at the arsenal. And you got a fucking Mercedes Benz, and you ain't got to walk every day, so you're going to get out and strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that, that ass. When you start walking, my friend, and you get 10 and 15 miles on the highway, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be half dead by the time you get there. So it's a chauvinistic pig attitude that Clinton's got. Strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass. And when you walk about 15 to 20 miles, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be so fucking tired, you won't be hard to hold that ass up. You won't be strutting that ass, strutting that ass. Take it away, Jim. Steve, what happened there at the, the end of the They're calling some bullshit, man. That's all I'm saying. Well... There it is. In this game, however, how did you manage to play hard? If the refs gonna keep acting like that, we ain't gonna keep playing like that. Kobe, Kobe you know, out of the year, he's he's coming back and doing the same things. And then, uh, you know, I love getting all the fucking, oh, all the rebounds. You just don't understand. I can sit here and tell you for an hour, you wouldn't understand because you've never played, you've never been an athlete before in your life. Uh, yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. On what level? Football player. On what level? Oh, oh, not junior. Oh my goodness, junior, huh? Job you, you is couldn't ask you questions. Okay, and I'm answering them, and you're trying to tell me I'm lying to you? No. You got forward and bump your little head, man. I'm you telling you. Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's Crichton community. Many of you bring binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. I got to do look up in the tree. Who else in the leprechaun say yeah? Yeah! yeah! Eyewitnesses say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead that got hold to the wrong stuff and it told him to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. We're going to get down to the bottom of this. You're still on there, guy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. This guy helping to direct traffic says he's prepared for his encounter with the leprechaun. He's suited up from head to toe. This water's all smells right here. 
This is a special leprechaun flute, which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great-great-grandfather who was Irish. I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky in hopes a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. I'm gonna run a back hole and uproot that tree. I wanna know where the gold is. I want the gold. Give me the gold. I want the gold. Thousands of passengers across the East Coast, of course, had to alter their plans. And we spoke to one kid who was trying to cope with the delay. I'm just sitting there on my iPod. It's just so frustrating. I want to be in Florida getting a tan on my back. You do. I mean, there's nothing you can do. You can't do anything. There's nothing. We can't do We couldn't throw. We throw in interceptions. Just, man, it's Just like... Dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. And you just drop in and just smack the lip. Whoopah! Drop down, snap, ah! And then after that, you just drop in, you just ride the barrel and get pitted. So pitted like that. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles got woo! It sounds like what? Well, you want to woo woo? It's that woo woo! You know what I'm saying? Then you got the flowers. They didn't trip out the flower masses. That decoration, man. It's yeah. just for decoration. That's, that's it. it. And that's all, man. We do it for decoration. You have it on your car? Yeah, I got it on my car. It was being installed on their car. Some neighbors were saying way too loud. That's only in the morning. Yeah. He supposed to be up cooking breakfast or somebody. And so that's like an alarm clock. Woo woo. Just minding my own business. Bam! Hit me hard right from the back. I was glued to my seat. I was like, Whoa! I could see the car in front of me. I was about to hit him. So I kind of veered off this way. As I veered off this way, the guy who hit me, he veered off that other way. And he hit the curb, flipped over, rolled over, run into the electrical pole. And I didn't know he hit the pole. All of a sudden, I kind of stopped. And I was like, whoa. And the wires come down. Boom. And then arc, arc, bam. That fire was coming everywhere. It was arcing, sparking, blowing up. I saw one arc, arc go from the corner of my van up to the car behind me. It was like a big rainbow, boom, and it was coming up, boom, boom, and I was like, yeah. So I, I opened up my door, I didn't touch no metal, and as I come up, I started to touch the top, and a little spark jumped out, I was like, whoa! And I stepped out the rest of the way, lucky I didn't get burned more. So, oh, it was crazy, dude. I was just sitting there, and I was like, boom! Reality hits you hard, bro. Play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. We've got to be the dumbest team in America in terms of playing the game. And I'm highly critical because of the way we give games away. We give them away, period. I know you were frustrated at how the officiating went, uh, officiating went down the stretch there, but you guys pulled it out and it was a big win. Davis Turner won the wide league and losing money, that's why. People pay good money to come watch these athletes play and they try to take over the fucking game. Shaq, we're on live. I know. Let me ask you this. Well, Obviously, we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. Well, it's just been so crazy out here, as you can imagine. But about an hour ago, and I never heard no explosion. It's just I have a huge TV and I get seeing all these strange colors. So I walked out the door about eight feet and it looked like you were looking at Afghanistan and they just blowed up two or three buses. And thank God she was the only one at home but she said, all I remember was I had something in a frying pan. Could have been chicken. And she walked away and was gone just a little bit too long. And it sparked a set of paper towels. And from there, all Hades broke loose. And when I walked out, I swear to God, 
if this gentleman can pound over to that tallest tree, the fireball was as high as that tree. Oh my God, yeah, well, what would you call that? 50 yards? But the, the garage was, was already collapsed. And this was before I even knew it was happening. And then when I walked out to the yard, there was like 15 fire trucks. The bedroom part of the house was collapsing and then boom the fireball went the size of the house and up about 80 feet and thank God Tony wasn't home and she managed to get out of the house Yes, ma'am, but I didn't actually come in contact with her to approximately two minutes after the fact, and obviously she was in a state of hysteria. Uh, and they, they had a little dog, and I'm really afraid the dog didn't make it, but I don't know that. You're very welcome. And what's your name? Yes, You're a very, very beautiful young lady.